Hey, guys, uh, do you remember our last tenant? Well, of course. Uh, that well-educated gentleman who was so quiet during the day but would get all wild and crazy and turn into an animal at night. Oh, his name was Dr. Uh, Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll, research scientist. Yeah, real moody guy. Bit of a psycho. Well, anyway, I'm doing some tests on a flask he left behind. It seems to be some sort of sports drink. But I need a volunteer to taste it, to uh, find out what flavor it is. Go ahead. Oh, I would, except uh, <clears throat> I have a bit of a cold. <coughs> and I can't taste anything right now. I'm not thirsty. Uh-uh, not me. He probably backwashed into it. All right, I'll taste it, but just one sip. Well, what does it taste like? <laughs> oh, not bad. It tastes a lot like artichoke. Just fall in. <laughs> burglarized last night. I feel like I've been violated. He said burglars, not crazies. Hmm, that's strange. It appears that nothing was taken. I'll bet it was some kind of wild animal. We need to set a trap. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the Trap 3000. Bud, what are you doing? I'm camouflaging. Nice test run. <laughs> yep, I guess the camouflage look worked. Here? Yeah. Funny, it smells like artichoke. We are facing a cunning, bloodthirsty monster. Traps won't do it. What we need is some kind of bait. What kind of bait would this beast be attracted to? With this two-way mirror, we will be able to watch the perpetrator without it seeing us. Don't make any noises. <laughs> hey, bud, did you step in something? No. Did you take a shower this month? What are you trying to say? I'm just saying that your stinky feet are making my nostril hairs curl. Oh, yeah? Well, you're one of those kind that just thinks that they're in the... Uh... Shh. Take a wild guess, I'd say the beast was Candy's alter ego. <laughs> well, at least 
least he's prettier now. Yes, we, we fell asleep and, and didn't see a thing. I didn't hear a thing. We made you some anchovy toast. No more cereal? Be careful. He might freak out again. We are not going to let that Brussels sprout scare us. I don't know. You look more like an artichoke to me. Artichoke? That's it. Candy drank Dr. Jekyll's formula. Well, now I have to find the antidote and make him drink it. Hey guys, I finished the antidote. All right, gorgeous. Just like we planned. So, you're not so tough now, are you, buddy? Nice little monster. Here's one for the photo album. Say cheese. Let go of my hand! Playtime is over. Time for your medicine. This just in, the giant artichoke has struck again. After last night's destruction, the mayor has said he has no choice but to bring in the military. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, we wait until tonight when he falls asleep and... Why should we wait till tonight? Let's do it right now! Go time! Hold him tight! Okay, let him go. Mmm, tastes like strawberries. It, it works. works! It works! It works! Hmm, looks like it needs some adjustments. One more time. Hey! Almost! <laughs> Hooray! And then we gave you an antidote that will immunize you against Dr. Jekyll's formula forever. Oh, thank you so much! And for that, I'm going to make your favorite meal. Go bring fondue! Woohoo! Yummy! <laughs> and just a few drops of vanilla. <laughs> oh! 
That was delicious. Yeah, it tasted a lot like artichokes. Wow, that was the best meal I ever ate. Oh, it was nothing. I just whipped up some leftovers. Ooh, I think I'm gonna hit the hay. Gorgeous, would you stop stuffing yourself for at least one minute? <laughs> Some of that antidote left. Coming, the monsters are coming, they're coming into your house, and I want all you little French kids out.